All right, I decided to use to get out my markers and to, so that way you can see the hair a little bit better. So here's like my part, I added a little bit of yellowish blonde color up top. Boys, maybe you have spiky hair and you want to go up. You might not want to use the permanent marker if you don't like that you can see it in there. I'm just doing permanent markers so that you can uh, see it a little bit better. Um, my hair's a little bit longer, goes down to here. I'm also going to add so you can see a little bit better because if you notice my hair has a little bit of brown in it too, I have some highlights and lowlights, I could add a little bit of brown in there and that would cover up that black Sharpie. So you make it however, if you have your hair in a pony and you want to put a pony up here, girls, however you like to wear your hair, boys, this might not take you as long as if you don't have to add as much color and detail. Remember, you can use crayons if you want to go over to markers, you are you can do that too. Um, if you have, you'll see that this example, I don't want to make you sit and watch, this example for, that Miss Buchan did last year, she did a peach color in the background. So maybe if you have like a darker brown skin, you can do brown in the background. You could do a peach color in the background. Um, you could do just a fun background like with stripes. Or since it's summer, I thought maybe I would do like a sun up top. And like I said, there's no wrong way of doing it. You get to make it however you would like. Maybe I want to make a sun up here. Uh, maybe I want blue skies. Maybe you want to keep some light and make some clouds. Maybe you want the lake in the background if you think you're going to spend a lot of time at the lake. Uh, maybe I want some green grass back here and some flowers. You get to create your own background. But my thing is I love how uh, Miss Buchan's from last year, she didn't have any color it, like she didn't have any white she uh, she was a beautiful illustrator and she filled it all up she colored her shirt pink maybe i want my shirt to be red um i'm gonna kind of do like a collar here make it like a swoop color it in well, it looks kind of pinkish maybe i want to add um, you could add like flowers on your shirt or maybe some stripes or zigzags. You get to design it however you want. And then when you're all done, so I might, I would color this in peach, uh, my neck in peach because my neck's like the same color as my face. And then when you're all done, your job is to go into CESA and to take a picture of it. And we want to see your final product. We want to see it. And it's kind of a fun um, art project, maybe your mom wants to hang it on your fridge, maybe your grandma or your dad, whoever you're living with, um, thinks it's cool and they want to bring it to work and hang it in their office. It's just a really cool, and then it has this summer. So my one, mine says, this summer I plan to spend a lot of time at my cabin. My family and I will ride on the pontoon and go swimming. And then I said, this summer I also have bonfires and make s'mores. Yum. I will play outside with my girls. So when you're happy with how it looks, I know a little pink got on here from when I was tracing my sunglasses, so it looks kind of silly there. But you get to make it your very own. Okay, we can't wait to see them all. Take a picture when you're done. Awesome job. Thanks so much for joining me.